thumbs. Hey Alec, how's it going? Oh, pretty good, you know. I never realized there was so much to learn about surgery. Huh, tell me about it. Hi everyone, are you ready for some more learning today? Yes, please, Dr. Scalpel. Great, what's next, thumbs? Well, I thought we could do something on the checklist. Nonsense. Let's talk about how to cut. The scalpel is one of our main tools in the OR. If you're going to make it in surgery, you have to be able to take the knife and cut. Okay, let's examine the scalpel a little closer now. Put that down! I never want to see you do that again. First of all, the scalpel isn't yours, and we don't take things that don't belong to us. Okay, sir. Second of all, the scalpel isn't a toy. If you're going to pick up a tool, you've got to respect it, and you've got to know what to do with it. Never pick up a scalpel unless you intend to draw blood. Sorry, sir. Third of all, that scalpel has a pointy end and a not-so-pointy end, and you never pick it up by the pointy end. No one wants to lose a nose. Your scalpel is made of surgical steel. You'll see it comes in two parts. The handle and the blade. Without the blade, the handle is safe. You can get long handles and short handles. This is a short handle one. Now the blades. They come separate from the handles so you can swap them out for a new one when the old one gets dull. And believe me, you'll be doing enough cutting that your blade will get dull pretty quickly. Blades come in all shapes and sizes depending on the mission. I like number 24 when I have to make a big cut fast and number 15 for fine work. You'll figure out for yourself what blade you like. Neat! So how do you put the blade and the handle together? Good question! Let's take a look! To mount the blade, take it out of the package and hold it with the instrument. Don't ever hold it with your bare fingers unless you like being cut. And then slide it on until it locks in place. Just like that. Click! Okay, now your scalpel is armed. It's like a weapon, so show it some respect. The nurse is going to give you the scalpel like this, holding it by the back. You're going to take it in your hand like this. When you're done with it, you hand it back the same way. Never give it back sharp end first. Always hold the scalpel by the middle of the handle when you're moving it. No sudden moves, and remember to say sharp. Are you getting all this, Alex? Yep, there's a lot to remember. Yes, there is. Anyone can cut, but only a surgeon can wield a scalpel properly. Let's talk about the two ways to cut. Thumbs, can you do the honors? The first way is like a sword. You hold the scalpel horizontally in your hand like this. When you cut, your wrist and fingers don't move. They just hold the blade in place. All the movement comes from your elbow and your shoulder. We apply steady pressure using the belly of the blade, not the tip. This works great with the number 24 blade. Hold the scalpel this way when you're making a long, deep cut and the blade is moving fast over a surface. Press down gently on the skin and your incision will open up like butter. The second way is to hold the scalpel like a pen. Hold it at an angle with your fingers and thumb, just like you're drawing or painting. When you cut, you're just using the tip. This grip allows you to make much finer, more precise movements with the tip. This works great with a blade like a number 11, which has a pointy tip on it. This grip is great for fine, delicate work in the neck or taking down adhesions. Neato! Sword grip and pen grip. Got it! Any questions? Just one thing, Dr. Scalpel. Are you named after the scalpel, or is it named after you? That's a very good question. Alex, a very good question indeed. Right, so remember, number one. Scalpels come in two parts, handle and blade. Number two, 
We use different blades for different jobs. Number three, always use an instrument to mount the blade. Number four, be careful when passing the scalpel. Hold it in the middle and never give it back pointy end first. Number five, there are two ways to use the scalpel, pen and sword. Number six, always say sharp when you're passing the scalpel. Good work, Alex. Just remember to respect the blade. With great power comes great responsibility. Now can we talk about the checklist? Maybe next time, Thumbs. Now it's time for coffee. <laughs>